Hillbrands with the infosheets.com. I'm going to talk about how to build a router table and also how to build a drawer um, using that router table. The advantage of a router table is that you can put a, um, a bit in there, in this case a half inch bit, and it'll make a nice smooth half inch dado without the, without the issues that you might get with the blade. One of the nice things about them is that, let me move some of the assembly things out of the way, which I'll show you how to assemble it. But it's very easy to just run your piece along. It's not as dangerous as, of course, a blade coming out, and it's very smooth. Once you have your setting properly, you can make a second pass to get it even a little bit smoother. Now, one of the things I noticed when building my drawers is that I originally had a high speed bit and that didn't do as well. Uh, it started to smoke um, and it would uh, not be nearly as good as this carbide bit. You can see that nice bit. And the second thing was, see how the blade is, is turn, is got a, a sharp edge. That sharp edge is swinging towards the fence. So that fence has to be on that side of the bit. You know, so in case you get a little mirrored reverse when you're assembling, make sure that you get it, the fence on the right side. It's not a big deal actually, because I can simply remove the clamp, lift it over and put it on the other side and it would, it would go the other direction. But uh, this is the proper setup. Now let's talk about the setup of this. We have a board which is two foot by three foot. And then again, we have another one that's four inches by about three foot. So um, we have a simple hole here with a three eighths inch carriage bolt. We want a nice big bolt coming through it, not a little, little screw. The, the reason is if we get a little screw, it might wiggle on the side. And since it's going to pivot on that bolt, we want it, that to be a fixed point because we don't want to have to move our clamps, uh, move a lot of clamps. You'll notice I have a clamp to hold it to a sawhorse. And then this is the only clamp that is unscrewed for adjustment. Let me actually unscrew it <clears throat> and remove it out of the way so we can see how it would adjust. Basically, we just slide it along until we get the right uh, point. And then when we get it to the right point, we lock it in. and. Uh, we can then slide our board along. Now to get it to the right height is actually controlled by the router itself. So let me walk around to the other side here. It's a little tight in my garage. You can see that uh, my router, oh, got to pivot all the way around. My router uh, has the, uh, the height adjustment and then it'll lock in position. And I can also access uh, changing the bit to put in the wrench from that from underneath. To assemble it uh, on this point, uh, this is the, the router base that's screwed onto it. We actually have to remove that from our router. And these are the little screws that come with it. Now obviously we need longer screws uh, because they're going to go through a big board. But basically we simply take our base removed from our router mark our three screw holes and then our big center hole. Then we take a, a drill and drill it uh, in the three points and then our hole drill like this, pretty simple. Most people have a set of these uh, and you just make our hole there and then we just screw it in pulling the router up nice and tight. So it's a very simple assembly, probably costs you just what you have in your garage to store it. I'm, I'm sorry, just what you have in your garage. But if you were to purchase it, it might be $10 worth of material. Now let me go swing gears here and talk about making a drawer. You can see that this is a board that uh, is basically got a half inch router bit uh, because this is half inch um, Mediterranean birch uh, 
really nice wood has a nice finish on it nice and shiny has a lot of plies and uh, you can get this in a five by five sheet and a full sheet I used the five by five sheet and I had quite a bit left over you can see that board there so there really is no reason to use uh, uh, something else for the bottom so that's why you notice the bottom of this has a full half inch router a run so basically that board goes down like this and the bottom goes fits into it the nice thing about that is that gives it a lot of structural strength then uh, but also every edge of the longer piece is also routed uh, with the dado so basically I just take my square put it in here to hold it square and uh, take my pneumatic nailer and I used a one inch nail the reason why we don't use a really long nail like a two inch is because this is very thin and they have a tendency to wander as they go through the wood so if you have a one inch and you center it properly it's not gonna have enough uh, time to wander out and start poking through the sides so one inch is nice it's our glue that's structurally holding it the nail is simply so you don't have to put clamps everywhere so basically <clears throat> assemble your box with all of the correct dados on both the bottom and two of the sides and uh, in other words these two boards each have a dado on both ends whereas these two boards don't and then once it looks good that it's assembled <clears throat> Take your uh, square, set it in here. You can, you can even probably use a board that's straight, but basically you want to get it to go good and perpendicular. And while it's held in that place, you can nail it uh, in with your pneumatic nailer and that'll hold it nice and tight. And then you go to your next one, your next one, and your next one. Once you're done, set it on the side and then measure really carefully for what you want for the bottom to fit into your existing dados uh, so this whole bottom is recessed in so the nice thing about that is just how much strength we're going to get uh, if you talk about getting dovetails on the side there's nothing going to compare to the strength we're going to get with a solid bottom uh, even if you dovetail the sides this this drawer is solid and the beauty of it is dovetails are complicated and hard and dados are super simple and once you get your your bit in the right place you didn't move i didn't move it for the entire assembly so this board's bottom was dadoed with the half inch and this board's edge was dadoed with the half inch on both sides so very simple setup you can see how beautiful that mediterranean birch looks $33 for the drawer box and then of course you attach your beautiful front uh, that you've made or purchased and just attach that and then you'll have a beautiful box and don't go crazy don't go and try and buy a dovetail jig and buy numerous bits and all that assembly um, one of the things I found is I was going to do a dado and rabbit here and when I glued the test sample, it actually chipped out the, the rabbit. And because it's just not big enough to, to have enough space to have the rabbit in there. And the plywood is a bit brittle. Uh, it wants to chip out. So having a simple dado makes it strong without having that weakness of a, of a, of, of a piece just close to breaking because it's too thin. And the bottom because it's recessed in if I was going to use the quarter inch and suspend it in so it's more of a hollow more of a simple bottom it would have the same depth because you would have it a quarter inch up so you would still be using up a half inch for the bottom so it didn't really cost me anything in space it certainly didn't cost me anything in wood because I would have had leftover anyway and then um, you also won't have any weakness. Um, to show you an example of weakness, by the way, I'm going to go to my existing kitchen 
where I've installed my assembly, my box. I'm going to pull out a drawer that's somewhat weak. You can see the swelling of this MDF and they just did a straight nail into the MDF. And you also see this, this board is somewhat flexible. And you can see that from the bottom, let's look at the bottom here, it's recessed in. And so we lost, we didn't gain any space, but we didn't get any strength by using it. <clears throat> and just to show you as a little proud moment, I'm gonna show you what I made with my, my wood. And you can see that my drawer is out, but this is the cabinet that I used to build. So uh, this has been John Hilbrands with TheInfoSheets.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.